I'm Irfan Bakui, and I will teach you React Router v4 in just 8 minutes. In order to follow along, you will need to clone down the React Router v4 tutorial, and each one of the modules is in its own folder. For our purposes here, to get you a very good idea of how React Router works, we just need to cover the first six modules. This is how our application will look at the end. We have basic routing, blocking routes, 404 routes, and passing of query parameters. The way React Router works is that it always renders all of the routes, but if the routes match, they render the HTML markup. If they don't match, they render null. In our introduction, I will cover browser router, navlink, and route components of the React Router library. Let's see how that works in code. Let's go to the app.js file of the second module. I have wrapped the HTML markup inside of the browser router component. And this is how you instantiate routing in your application. Now, you will notice two different components, navlink and route. Navlink is just a wrapper around the anchor tag. It gives direction as to where the link needs to go and if our present location is the same as this path this class will be applied to the anchor tag which wraps our word home and the other one is route component it has a path property a component property and an exact property if this path is matched with the location of the page then this component will render if exact is true then this path needs to be matched exactly if it was false, then even if we had something after the slash, it would still be matched. So when we go to the UI, this is how it looks. Now let's cover basic crowding. In this module, we'll cover the switch component and two props, match and location. Match and location, they both have additional properties. For our purposes, we'll just look at URL and params for match and path name and search for location. So let's see how it looks in code. Let's look at app.js. As you can see, we have a new component named switch. What switch does is tells the router to look at the routes within it and match only one based on the path. If the first one is matched, then it won't even look at the second one. In our case, we have two nav links, one going to just slash and the other one to basic routing. So we have two routes defined in switch, one going to slash and the other one to basic routing. Now the basic routing path is new and it points to the component basic routing. So let's see what that entails. As you can see, we have a somewhat new component named link. It is exactly the same as navlink that we discussed before, except it doesn't have the active class name property. In this case, we have three links and all of those links point to the same route in which the level is the parameter and that route points to the content component. Let's see what we have in the content component. We have three things here. First, we have the params that were passed down inside of the match prop. As we discussed, params are the URL params. In this case, we are passing down the names of the levels as parameters. So as you can see, it's colon level. So the content component will be able to access it with this.props.match.params.level. And we are also taking a deeper look into this.props.location and this.props.matchObject to see what properties they have. The location object also has a search property, which is the search query suffixed at the end of the URL. For this example, we have no search query, so you're not going to see this particular HTML markup. Let's see how this looks in the UI. We have the basic routing link here now. When I click on level one, this is the same component rendered for all three levels, level two and level three. They are the same components. When I click on level one, the params prop is changing and params prop is just params dot level. When I click on level one, it equals level one. When I click on level two, it equals level two. And this dot props dot location has a few different properties. For our purposes, we are only interested in the path name and search. We don't have any search query, so it's empty. And the path name, the current path name that we are at is basic routing level two. This will reflect what we have up here. And in this.props.match, we have a bunch of different properties. The path is a raw path that was matched in the parent component. And the URL is the actual URL, which substitutes the parameter for 
the actual value and it tells you whether or not it was matched exactly and what the params were if there were any so this is it for basic routing let's move on to blocking routes blocking routes is actually very simple it only has one react router component named prompt let's look at the ui go to the blocking link and basically when you try to navigate away by clicking elsewhere it'll give you a prompt to say hey you sure you want to leave you say okay it'll go there if you say cancel it'll stay there so let's see how it works in module 4 let's go into app.js as you can see we have another nav link to blocking and it points to the blocking component the only thing it has is the prompt component from the react router library it would have a prop of message you can have a static message as a string like i do right now or you can have a function that returns a string and that's all there is to it 404 or missed routes is actually the easiest one to cover so let's see how it looks here we have another link to miss if I click on level one, it'll take me there. If I click on level three, it'll take me there. But if I click on level two, it'll say, uh oh, there's no content there. Let's see how that works. I have another nav link to miss, which renders the miss component. Let's see what that does. Over here, I have three links slash ABC level one, slash ABC level three, and slash level two. But I don't have any paths that match with slash level two. But at the end, I have this default route that doesn't have a path prop assigned to it. It says if the nothing else matches, match it with me. It tells you what the location.path name was. So if we go back, it says sorry, no content available at miss level two. And that's how we handle 404 routes. Now let's look at query params. For this module, the only two things new are the properties we pass into the two prop of the link component let me show you so now we have another tab with query params and if I click on level one it'll tell me what the query params are for that level same thing with level two and level three let's look at the code so in app.js we have another route matching query params and it goes to the query params component in the query params component you will see that we have expanded links to property to have a path name and a search so path name will be the regular path name that we had in search you can tag on the query parameter but you don't really need to use the path name in search that is just for readability purposes you can just say two and just tack on the query parameter it'll work the same way this is now being handled by the content component and it basically says hey is there something in location.search if there is you display it if not then you display no and that's how we get the query strings over here thanks for watching and i'll see you next time